Hello. The new stuff. Hey, that was pretty I have cool. A shadow on my face. Look at this. <gasps> you mm. do. I have to like. There you go. Here now. No shadow. <laughs> it's okay. This stream is not about me or you. But the shadow. It's yes. about the shadow. <laughs> no, this is, this stream is 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 gonna be a little dark. Um, not necessarily in uh, visually dark, but as far as the game goes. Yeah. It does have a dark theme to it, um, which is fine. We don't mind a little bit of darkness. That's why I wanted to games. play this game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we want to um, thank Warclaw Games for sending this to us. Um, the artwork in this is really, really amazing. And the soundtrack is really and good. And the soundtrack too. is really good. We're going to be playing the soundtrack during the stream. It should be pretty low, but if it's too loud, let us know. Because yeah. we do want the game to shine, um, as well as you guys are going to be able to hear the soundtrack. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, big thank you to uh, Warclaw Games for sending this. Um, they are a very small independent developer. Um, um, they've got a whole bunch of games going. Um, we'll be getting another one in yeah. January-ish. Um, Moobot will pop up the website every now and then. Um, all the art is done by the one person that created this game. Mm -hmm. So everything you see and everything that's on the table is, is done by one person. Yep. And it takes an incredible amount of talent to do that. Um, I remember trying to make a card game. You guys all remember that. And I know how difficult it was to do it yeah. a homebrew. Because, I mean, basically you did it by yourself. I yeah. really didn't how. Yeah. And... And you, you got to appreciate the um, the love and effort that goes into making these things. So, um, we're going to go ahead and go right to the game. Yeah. Um, and if you guys want to check out the website, just hit up Moobot, exclamation mark, check out, and the website should pop up. Um, like I said, it, it's a lot of dark art in this one, a lot of dark themes. So, if that's something that's, that interests you, then... And check it out. Yep. Um, so let's go ahead and hit the tabletop. There we go. Okay, so this is the basic setup. We are using just the base game. There is um, some expansions in this that we are leaving out for right now. Oh, you just went across the green screen. That was kind of creepy. Oh, it did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we also have our green screen ready to show off these cards and the amazing art on it. So um, let's get right to the game. So this is a survival horror game. Okay, and we all know how much we love these types of games. This is also a solo game. Solo game, yes it is. Uh, but we are playing it together. So, yeah. I mean, you can, make, you can make it to where you can play together. Uh, Diner discussion. <laughs> Singing. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about the uh, story to this. Um, just a little brief intro to it. Um, so you are a soul born out of an abyss, okay? Um, capturing all forms of being in a desperate try to reach the higher steps of the existence ladder. So you're trying to get out of this abyss. You want to reach a level of peacefulness and just calm existence. You want to get out of this pit of torment and and agony. How okay. do you like the theme so far? <laughs> it's, it's a great, it's great. theme. <laughs> yeah. It really is. Um, so to do this, we'll have to go through a sequence of nightmarish incarnations. So our soul is going to be going through these... Um, it, I guess you want to call it lives? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to go be going through all these lives in order to find the right harmony, the right sequence to live in peace. Mm -hmm. um, so, so we're trying to break free from the cycle of nightmarish incarnations by enduring the right sequence for them. So building an octave of, of cosmic t uh, tones and getting to a higher, more peaceful level of being. So that is the brief backstory of it. Um, there's been many 
games that we've played that have that sort of story, you start off in like the lowest in, of depths of horribleness. Yeah. And of course you want to get out of it. Or you can just it's, stay bad. You can just stay bad. <laughs> no, you, you don't, don't want to do be that. good. You do not want to do that. <laughs> All right, so we've got our basic setup here for our base game. So the, our aim is to build a cosmic octave. So think of this as um, sort of like musical notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah. Um, the cards, Which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah. The cards all have these letters on them, and we're trying to build an octave from A to A, B to B, C to C, and so on. Yeah. All right. Um, of course, there's going to be these horrible things in our way called keepers. They're going to try to stop us, um, and they're going to do really bad things to our willpower and the deck. No, not my deck. Yeah, do a lot of things. However, we do have things that can help us. Um, these desperate cry cards right up here. Let me show show number one on our green screen of horror. There we go. So sacrifice half your willpower, round it up to draw three cards. Now this could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, you might need this because you're low on cards. And yeah. being low on cards is not a good thing in this game. Having too many cards is also a bad thing. So you kind of have to find that um, that middle ground there. Yeah. All right. So that is that is some really cool art on that one. I really like that one. Um, card number two. You want that one too? Yeah. Let's show them all off. Discard the top half of the pile. Round it up. Reveal your uh, heal your willpower to full. So that may help us out. We need the will. We need willpower to survive, yes. Number three here, if there's no keeper in your hand, discard all cards from it, draw the same number of cards. So if you have some really bad cards, that can come in handy. Um, this will all make sense once I go through the game. Yeah. And how it, how it plays. Right now we're just showing the desperate cry cards. These are one-time use throughout the whole game. Once these are done, used up that's it yeah um all right number four shuffle one card from each side of the sequence and random half of the tomb uh round down into the pile so that'll help us um build up our pile or our lives back up so we'll try to save that till the very desperate times here all right so here is our willpower card. We are starting on level one. We have 12 willpower. This card also has some um, the sequence of turns on it, which would help. Um, this card here will keep track of your willpower. So it'll move up and down. Oh. Uh huh. And that's how we're gonna keep track of that. So we're gonna start at 12. Um, there is a level two on here, which we should be able to get to, I hope. <laughs> if we don't die. If we don't just evaporate into the abyss. <laughs> to the nothingness. To the nothingness. Um, okay, so those are some of the cards. This is our pile. This, These are the cards that we're going to be pulling from, using, and um, hopefully getting through the first level without it emptying. Um, okay, so what are we going to do? What do we have to do? So let's show some of these cards so that way they can see what I mean. Okay, so here is an example of a keeper. Uh, I really love this card. This, this card is so good. Here is a keeper. Okay, there are certain icons up there. It's really hard to see, but they are there. And then there are some icons on the side here. These are the effects of the card. These are bad things. Okay. These are the bad things that are going to happen if this card is played. Okay. Okay. The number to the right of it is how many cards we're going to draw from the deck or from the pile okay. to our hand. 
Now there are certain rules to drawing cards and we'll go over them. Um, here's another, uh, okay, cool. Do I need to shuffle again? Yes. <laughs> All right. So here is one of our tone cards. Okay. Now these have the same icons on them, except they're a little less horrible than the keeper cards. Okay. They still have a negative effect, but you know, they're way milder than the other ones. Now, as you can see, they do have an icon on the top there, and they do have a letter. This one is D. Yeah. Okay, so in essence, if we had this card, we can play it to our sequence and start off with D and hopefully make our way back to D. Yeah. So D, E, F, G, A, B, C, then D. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see what else there is. Ooh, another one. Here, you can shuffle this back up. <laughs> so there's a lot going on here. No, I I see what you guys are trying to do. I have to behave for this stream. Yeah, so we're, we're streaming this. We're streaming this for this for... creator's first video of this game. So I will not be responding to chat, even though I love you all. <laughs> I know that you're going to say things, so like I, I giggle. I already know this is going to happen, but this is going to go like on their Facebook page and this is their very first video. Yes, again, for we, wanna, we do want to thank you guys for thank Warcry Games for sending this to us. Uh, we look forward to the, your other games that are going to be coming out. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, you showed I showed some of the cards. Um, they all have letters on them except for the keepers. Keepers do not have letters. They just have bad stuff. They just have bad stuff and icons on them. Okay, now there is a turn structure here, so we're going to go through that. Um, so we're going to play a card, draw cards face down. Okay, that's important. Okay. The number on the bottom right corner is how many cards we're going to draw to our hand. We There is no hand limit. Okay. So we play a card, whether it be a... Um, a keeper or a tone card mm -hmm. with the letters on them. We're going to draw cards based on that number. And they're going to be face down. So we're not going to see what they are until the end of the turn. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we're going to resolve the played cards effects. So we're going to play card, draw the amount of cards that it allows us to. And then we're going to play the effects on the card. Um via the icons that are on there yeah. and we'll go through all the icons in a minute um there you go check out war war claw games yep Mubot's there's a website the thank you move on <laughs> then after we have resolved all the played cards we're going to turn the drawn cards face up we'll be able to use those on the next turn okay okay so that's the basic um turn structure there um, there are different types of actions we can take, and we'll go through them really quick. Um, incarnate is one of the actions, and you get to play a tone card from your hand to the left or right of the sequence. If it's your first card, then you play it right into the sequence area, which is going to be right here. Mm -hmm. And Anytime after that, you're going to either place it on the right or the left. And it has to be in order. Yeah. In tone order. So if you place a D down, you have to either place an E to the right of it or a C to the left. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're going to resolve the card effects after drawing cards. Mm -hmm. You're going to draw them face down. And then after the effects are um, resolved, you uh, turn over the cards that you've drawn. Next thing you do is face a keeper. Now, keepers are really bad to have in your hand. You cannot win the game if there is a keeper in your hand. Keepers stop you from playing cards onto the sequence. At least I think that's how it goes. Um, I hope oh, watching this video they back. will they will clarify that. But I believe it stops you from playing any more tone cards to the sequence. Um, yeah. So we have to get rid of them somehow. 
But if we end up playing a card to get rid of it, we have to go through and resolve it. Um, those cards will also allow us to draw cards. And then we'll have to go from top to bottom, resolve all the icons, and then that'll be it. Yep. You know, we'll get rid of it. It goes to the discard pile. But they're really terrible cards. They're really horrible. <laughs> they're really bad. All right. One way to get rid of a keeper and cards you do not want is to dive into the abyss. That okay? sounds even worse. That, no, it's good. No, that's a good thing. It's good. You're going to discard two cards with the same symbol or letters. Oh, okay. Okay. And it has to be either letters or symbols. Yeah. Of course. Um, and then we're going to look at the top two cards of the pile. All right. And then we're going to select one to put to our hand, and the other one will be put on the bottom of the pile. Okay. Um, we can do that as many times as we want with the cards that we have. However, you have to realize that you're only getting one card out of it, and we're removing two. Yeah. So it, just be careful with it. All right. I'm making no decisions. <laughs> no decisions. Um, the next thing you can do is use a desperate cry, one of those. And you're going to use them and just do what they say. And then that's it. And then continue from there. Um, like I said, we're trying to build a sequence from one letter to the same letter. So A to A, B to B, C to C. Yeah. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then back to A. Or B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Um, it's basically what we're doing. It's got like a musical um, theme to it. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. I enjoy it. Um, now there are icons on these cards and we're going to go through those really quick. Um, there is a skull on the cards. We will lose willpower based on the number that's in those in that skull. Okay. Okay. There is a hand with a number in it. We're going to discard cards randomly from our hand. So that's where having the drawn cards upside down comes from. Mm -hmm. um, because we're going to draw cards first and then do the effects of the card. So those cards initially will be possibly be discarded also. Yeah. So it's all random. So we're going to discard however many cards at random from our hand. Um, there is an it icon looks like that page. looks like two torn pages. Yeah. So we're going to discard an X amount of cards from the top of the pile, which is this, which is bad because that is our life force, pretty yeah. much. Then there is a broken treble clef looking icon. Um, we're going to shuffle X amount of cards from the opposite side of the sequence. Uh -huh. So whichever side that goes... Based on the number, we're going to shuffle the that amount on the opposite side back into the um, pile. Yeah. So that could help us and that could hurt us. us. Yeah. yeah. So there's going to be a lot of stuff happening when we play these cards. Um, let's go through how we win. If we can form a sequence from one letter to the same letter without a keeper in our hand, we have beaten level one okay okay so there are more ways to lose this game than there is to win all right so losing this game if we run out of cards in this pile okay if our willpower reaches zero we will lose and if we have no valid play we will lose this is terrible <laughs> um so that is about it i hope that i got everything down i know there are some other sort of like rules and stuff like that um that are very small but we will get to them if we get to them yeah but that's pretty and much this is just the base this is not yes um, um either one of the expansions that come with the game yeah so the expansions don't add any more rules yeah they add more cards which give different effects yeah. So it doesn't add any different rules to it. So you can still play with them. Yeah. Um, they make them either easier or harder. It's it's a little bit of balance there. Yeah. So that's basically it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start this. 
soundtrack soundtrack let us know if it's too loud or not loud enough or if you can't hear us over the music yeah because it's really important that you guys get the ambiance of this game and this music also comes with the game yes it does which i thought was pretty cool all right so starting off we're going to draw six, draw six cards. So go ahead and draw six cards from the deck. You draw them. You want me to do That's it? That's why I'm moving okay. the mic. <laughs> Two. Three. Four, five, and six. Okay, I already see some bad cards here. No, I shuffled. Pretty easy, some really bad ones. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to show them face up here. Some of these are really awesome looking. Well, all of them are. I mean, all of them are. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> so we have our first keeper sitting here pretty. Um, let's take a look at this one. There's really cool artwork on that one. All right. So if you remember what this symbol means. Oh, my gosh. We will lose that much willpower. We only have 12. I know. <laughs> but oh, that's, man. That only takes okay. effect if we play that card. Yeah. Um, now, we, we can keep it in our hand for right now. We don't have a really horrible setup. Now, if this is in our hand when we complete a sequence, then we have a problem. All right. Well, we have A, B, D, which is good. All right. So if we start at B to go to B, that would be All right, a so start. A, B. There's another B here. Yeah. And what is this? An F? Mm-hmm. And we have a D. So we have A, B, F, D. So I think we should start at B. Start at B? Yeah, because we can go to B. I mean, we don't necessarily have to start at a letter and then finish on that letter. We can change it accordingly. So if we put out a B yeah. and there's an A, we can well, put I an know... A to the left of it. Yeah, well, I'm saying if we start with a B card, we already know that we have something in our hand that we can play. Yeah. Okay, so. Are we talking about this one? Yeah. Now, that one's going to cause us to lose, lose two, willpower. two willpower. This one, we're going to lose two willpower as well. And then we're going to have to do the it's other a lot extra of stuff. stuff. That's why I said we should probably start with that one. Okay, so let's show this card. That is the one she wants to play. It has the letter B. And we've got two cards that we're going to have to... Two willpower that we're going to have to lose yeah. from that card. Okay, so let's go ahead and play this. Let's move this over. We're going to play the letter B on that card. Now we're going to draw one card because yeah. of that number one. So this is going to go in our hand upside down, turned over. Where you did. We don't know what that is. Now we're going to lose two willpower. Yep. So we're at 10. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. That guy's just decapitated. Yeah. Oh, no, he's in the, the what are they called? The things with the The, the gallows? Like, yeah, that thing. I thought he was decapitated. <laughs> he got his head. All right, so we're knee deep in the abyss of horrors right now. So okay, so we we finished our turn. So we flip over the card. We got another F. Oh. Okay, now we have two Fs. Mm -hmm. We can possibly discard. Yeah. Um, I don't want to play this A because we're gonna have to shuffle one card from the opposite end, mm -hmm. and we don't want to do that right now. Maybe, no. or do we? No. Um, should we discard two to draw one? I mean, we could play this B, but a lot of stuff is going to happen. Yeah. A lot of bad stuff. So, I don't know. <laughs> this, this is really difficult. What do you think? Mm. I say... We discard the two Fs. We don't need the F. Now, it's it's important to say that there is a finite amount of these letters. Yeah. Okay. So if we discard too many of them, then... Yes, then there's bad. no way to win. I have to remember to stop moving because my face keeps going into the ding. 
Move on. No, if I'm over here, I'm not saying see. <laughs> That's the one thing about having this light here. I want to put yeah, a light on it. Yeah, I know. Okay. So, what are we thinking here? So, um, we kind of want to get rid of this, too. Let's remember that this guy here is not friendly. All right, now how can we discard him? Now we can discard him by discarding two of two the same of symbol. Symbols. We have that symbol here, and we have it on the D here. However, we are going to need the D later. Hmm. Now that's the only symbol I can see that matches that. Yeah, I was looking at the other cards, and I'm like, no! Yeah. Um, but right now, I think we're okay with him being yeah. here. Yeah. Because we don't want to play him. If it comes down to us playing that card, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. All right, let's discard the two to draw. Discard these two? Yeah. Okay, so we're diving into the abyss. We're going to discard these two into the tomb. Now, we're going to draw two. We're going to choose one to place in our hand. The other one's going on the bottom of the deck here. Oh, there's another keeper. And there's the letter A, which is equally as bad. Gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, we just got rid of one bad we, guy. We did. We did, so well here's what we got. You know what? I'm gonna say this again. These cards remind me so much of that scary stories book. Yeah. Uh, scary stories to tell in the dark. Yeah. And it's so creepy, but it's cool but it's at so the same good. time. <laughs> so, okay. So this one requires us to lose seven willpower. No good. See, this A is uh, this one's, looking a lot better. <laughs> this one's six willpower. And then three discarding from the top of the pile. Mm. So that's what we have to pick from. I don't like either of them, to be honest. Um, well, this symbol matches this one. That's right, yeah. Uh, and and that symbol matches that one. Yeah, so, so I, either one I think this is take. the worst of the two because of the extra icons on there. Yeah. So. But both of those cards match the symbols on that card, so we can technically get yes. both of them. Now, you have to remember, though, that... We have the letter B there, so we need an A or a I C. I know, but it's so bad. I don't want that one. <laughs> I don't want either I one of those. I know. Uh, I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't want the worst one. <laughs> the, this is the worst one. Yeah. The, the Goblin King looking guy. So we're going to keep this one. It looks like the troll of the mountain in this, yeah. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> the Goblin King from the mountains. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. That went to the bottom. That was our <laughs> dive into the abyss. Um, I am not playing that card. Oh, that's so bad. I know. But I feel like maybe we should just go ahead and do this Do one? that one? Okay, so when it says to shuffle um, cards from the other side, right? Is that yeah. that simple? Yeah. Okay. That means so we'll have to shuffle the B that into one back the pile. into there. Yes. I mean, I guess that won't be terrible because, I mean, we have a B out, but that one's kind of bad. Yeah. I'm sorry, Warcry. We, we might end up losing. <laughs> no, we're going to lose. Everything's fine. On our very first playthrough. <laughs> um, yeah, because I don't want to play that A. Okay, so we we're going to dive or we're we going to play this one? Oh. Play this one? Let's just go for it. Yeah. So we're going to play this okay. one. So that's going to go here. And that one. And then this now hold one. on, hold on. We're going to draw a card first. All right. And then we're going to. And now to... we have to take this one and shuffle it back into there. Yes. Oh, boy. Okay. So I think that is the end of the turn. Unless... You want to do anything else? No. No. So let's go ahead and turn this card over, and it is a keeper. This one looks super cool. Look at that one. 
How awesome does that look? That gives me some North vibes right there. I feel like you have that hat. <laughs> what? <laughs> the antlers. The antler hat? No, I do not. You might. They don't know. Okay, so I think I want to keep the keepers on top here, so that way we know where they are. Well, this one and that one have the same symbol. They do. Now, do you want to you want to set that off? Now, mm -hmm. remember, um, we we don't have many options here. I know. Um. I mean, this keeper's not horrible, but it's... It's not great. It's not great either. Um, oh, man. Because I, I don't want to play... Th well, I mean, that Look, one... that's not bad. It, yeah. That's not bad. Let's play this card. Right. So I'm going to show them this awesome card here. Super colorful, too, by the way. So that is the letter B. Now we're going to lose two willpower. We're going to lose two cards from the top of the pile. And we're going to have to discard two cards from our hand. Um, however, no. we get to draw three cards. So that's the first thing we're going to do. No, draw three cards. Three. Okay. Wait, what do you There's do? Just draw three. There's three of them? Yeah. I already did the, okay, the take so, the two points off. So it. remember when we're drawing cards, they are always face, face down. down. Um, here's where this comes into play. Okay. So we're going to lose two willpower. Yeah, I did that oh, already. you already did yeah. that? Okay, I don't want to lose any more. I'm going to lose two cards off the top of the pile. Okay. So it's one. Oh, no, it's a oh, C. Let's see. Uh, and a keeper. That's not so bad. Not bad. Okay. Um, and then we're going to discard two at randomly. Now, because these are turned over, these are also in mm -hmm. the um, mix to get discarded. Oh, yeah. They, they are not safe from the effects. So let's go ahead and do this. And you're going you're gonna to choose. Oh, no. You're, you're gonna totally choose this one. I wish not to. All right, all right. Here we go. I'm gonna do one more shuffle, and I'm gonna start placing them down, and you tell me when to stop. How many cards are there? Two. No, like in total. All together. Like seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, it was great. Okay. Okay. Discard that one. Discard. Oh, it's a E. Oh. It's one of the newer cards. I know. One more. Ready? Yep. Right. Yep. Oh, there it is. Oh, it wasn't so bad. Yep, we discarded the uh, keeper. So what are we left with? An F. An F. An A. Another keeper. Oh, no, there's another keeper. And a C. We got a C. Ooh. Okay. All right. Um, I say we play that letter C. Um, okay, so it's A, B, C, D, E, F. It goes up to G. Okay. But okay. we have to get back to A. Yeah, okay. For some reason, I was forgetting G. Because I was like, now, oh, well, we can play an F, but we can't. No, we can play a G before the A, and then it'll start that sequence with G. Yeah. So we'll have to get back we to G. We haven't ran into a G card yet. No, not yet. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to have to play that C. Yep, we're yeah. going to go ahead and play that. Yep. So there you go. So we're at A, B, and C. So we're going to draw one card. Yep. And then we're going to discard three from the top. Oh, man, life. One. Yeah. That is an E. F. And A. Okay. It's not bad. I mean... Look at this card. If I can grab it. I love the the art in this game. That is... I didn't show it off on Instagram yet, just because I wanted everybody to come and watch the channel yeah. first. But I'm gonna take some photos and post it to Instagram after this. Okay, we're doing we're doing good still. Okay. 
<laughs> we're, we're at eight. Um, we may have to heal up in a little bit. <laughs> no, we're I fine think. for now. Uh, okay, if you say so. Everything's great. All right, so we're at the end of the turn, so we're going to flip this card over. It's a G. Oh, we were looking for that. Um, okay. Oh, cool. What's the hand mean again? The discard? We're discarding two randomly from our hand. Mm -hmm. I mean, that won't be terrible. No, because we are getting, uh, well, we're getting one. Yeah. Um, I think we should play that one. Play that one? Yeah. Boop. Okay. Now, for that one, we're going to draw one card. Mm -hmm. and, and now then we're going discard to discard two. two. One. Oh. Two. You want me to just cho choose this time? How many cards are there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, shuffle and discard the third one. Shuffle and discard the third one? We have to do two. I know. The third one first. One, two, three. Oh, that is the F. It's not bad. And the fourth one. And we have another F. Okay. Mm. Uh, we could have used those. Yeah, we could have. Oh. Uh, we are down to three I, cards, and the we, keeper is still we, in our hand. Oh, I wanted to get rid of the keeper. It didn't work. Um. Okay, so we... Uh, oh, no, we're still good. No, yep, we're still good. We have the letter D here. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, that's not so bad. And with that, we have to discard four from the top. Yes. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. We're at eight. Yeah, I'm actually going to move these up to there. Because uh, we're going to need more room to go on this side yeah. soon, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I think we have to play this card. Yeah. Um... Oh wait, I think we've been messing up this whole time. Don't we, say that. We have a keeper in our hand. I think we may have to have played the keeper or get rid of the keeper somehow. How long have we had him? Quite a while. Oh. Yeah. It's okay though, we're having fun. That's why. Okay, um, I was seeing if we could backtrack somehow. No. It's okay, let's just, let's just keep going. This is how you learn games. If you yeah. play, you make mistakes. So, if I understand correctly, these keepers stop you from adding any more cards. Yeah. So that's what makes them extremely dangerous. Well, we've gotten rid of a few of them. We have, yeah. <laughs> well see this is this is really just to show you guys how to play and how awesome it is um yeah it's these little things that yeah i forgot that rule yeah that you can't well okay it's okay though let's just keep going with it yeah so are we gonna play correctly from now on yes or, okay <laughs> yes, we will play correctly from now on. But so far, the turn of events has been correct. The turn of yeah. the... So we're, sh we're showing off all the effects of the cards, how to play these cards. So far, we're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> but, ne okay, we're going to play for real now. Okay? As long as we have a keeper in our hand, we have to either get rid of it somehow or play it. Before we play any other cards. Yeah. So when we show this video to the designer, we're just going to show him the rules explanation and not show the <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> oh, no. We're sorry. We messed up the game. If you know our channel, we do this a lot, but that's how we learn how to play these games. Yeah, it's not like it's going to be the first time. Yeah, no more house rules panic rules. <laughs> okay, so we have to get rid of him. Yes. All right. Now, I may be wrong. I may be completely wrong. I know that we cannot win the game with a keeper in our hand. Yeah. Um, I couldn't find anywhere in the rule book where it said that this stopped us from playing any cards. So maybe we are playing it right. Maybe we are playing it right. 
How about we play it how we've been playing it, and then if it's wrong, he'll just make us make another video, and that's just another stream. <laughs> Maybe. Because it just said that we can't win if there's a keeper in our yes. hand. Didn't say anything about we can't play cards to the sequence if there's a keeper. Yeah, that's the only thing I'm not 100% about. Yeah. So let's just play how we're playing, and okay. like I said, if he's not satisfied, then we redo it. And it doesn't necessarily have to be on stream, we can just do it off stream. And record it. Yeah, we could record a video. Yeah, we've done it before. Alright, so let's, let's just play how we were playing. So we can technically play the D. We're gonna have to discard four off the top. Which is more life. Uh, where are these cards at the top? Sacrifice half your willpower? That ain't happening. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That'll bring us down to four. Yeah. Discard the top half of the pile, round it up. Mm. No, there's no keeper in your hand. Oh, no. <laughs> Shuffle yeah. one card from each side of the sequence. I don't want to do that either. Okay. And, and random half of the tomb into the pile. So that's just going to give us more cards. Yeah, I don't think we're that desperate yet. We have a card to play. Yeah. Um... As much as I hate to say it, maybe we should play the keeper. It'll oh. give us two cards. We'll get rid of a keeper. Then maybe we can play that. How are we gonna random? Oh, never mind. I'm, I read the symbol wrong. I was like, how are we gonna randomly discard four or five from our hand? No, oh, that's five off the top. Yeah, I was like, we can't do that. Yeah, I believe that if we cannot fully complete the icons on here, then we can't play. It. Yeah, yeah, I assume that. Um. So what happens when we play the keeper? He just goes into the discard pile? Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, let's just try that. Just do it? Yeah. And okay. then we can play one of the So discard. we're going to play the the keeper. This is really cool look, looking keeper. So we're going to lose. I love this card. Oh, wait. We're going to draw first, right? Yeah. So we're going to draw two first. Yeah. So yeah here, we're going we're gonna to play this up here for right now. Because it's going to go straight to the um, two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I need to make the thing go down, so. Okay, so just. Get the cards in the way. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, we're down to three willpower. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Um, That's great. We can put these cards together where the letters are just showing. Uh -huh. It might be easier to do. Now, the rule book does say that we can do that essentially with this, just to see how many letters we have left. But you know what? We're gonna be, we're gonna keep it a surprise. Yeah. So we're gonna lose five cards off the top. That's one, two, three, four, five. Oh man. That deck is looking too. Our, our life forces, <laughs> our life is getting down there. Yeah. Okay, so this is gonna go away. All right, so we're going to be turning these over. We got an A, no good, and another G. Okay, so thankfully we do not have a keeper in our hand, so I think we can play D, but we're going to lose four cards off the yeah, top. Yeah, I know. So, I mean, that's the only card we can really play at this point, unless we get rid of these two A's to draw two. Cause we need yeah let's go ahead and do that to see what else we end up getting yeah yeah okay so we're gonna discard these two because that one a is like getting rid of seven yeah power and we do not have seven we're gonna draw two. Oh. <laughs> yeah that's my favorite card and we get another d okay so... well we cannot play that because we only have three willpower that would make willpower go down really far we'll be down to one yeah. This one we only have to discard four cards. Alright, what were these power things again? Sacrifice half your willpower, it's not happening. <laughs> uh, sacrifice one card from each side. I really don't want to do that. There's no keeper. Discard the top half of the pile, round it up. And heal your willpower. Willpower to full. I almost. That might. 
Then that might help. be something we need to do now. How many? Well, cards? we have to do this first. Oh right, yeah. So, um, assuming we're gonna take this card here, because yeah. we don't want a keeper in our hand. Yeah. So this is what we're gonna keep. I like that one too. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. I like that. I don't have like a favorite card yet. They're all so cool looking. They're all really awesome. Alright, we're playing that one, right? No, we're not gonna play it. We're keeping it. What? We we discarded two. Yeah, but shouldn't we be playing it in the line? We have to finish our turn. Oh. We have to finish that action first. Oh. Okay, now we can play it. Okay, so do, wait, do you want to play the Desperate Cry first or the card first? Um, oh, true. So wait, what did you just do with that other card? I put it on the bottom of the deck. Oh, right. Because oh, we drew the two and we had to choose one of them. Yeah. yeah. I was like, wait, what just happened? <laughs> um. So we could use the number two Desperate Cry to heal up. It'll heal us to full health. But we're going to lose um, half of the pile. Okay, so we're at G right now. We have D and we have G. We need E. We need E and F and because F. we have G. Yes. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So it's, uh, it's this one, right? Yes. Just curve the top half of the pile, round it up. So let's count how many we have. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> oh no! Let's just do it. One, two, three, four. Well, it's good that we heal. All right, so we know the bottom card is is the keeper, but we've lost so many cards. Oh no! There's a B. Oh, we don't need to be. It's fine. No. <laughs> oh. Man. Okay. Now, now we can play. Yes. So we will draw one card, mm -hmm. and then we, and lose, then we two. lose two. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we need E and an F and a G. We have a G. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh man, that's gonna that's <laughs> gonna are... be bad. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the end of the turn. Let's well, so that's an over. E. It's an E. It's an E. Cool. Okay. We we still got it. We have a chance. <laughs> we have a chance. All right. So if we play the E, we're gonna whoa. We're gonna lose three off the top, which means that the very last card is the keeper. Yeah. Should we sh shuffle one card on each side of the sequence to to bring the deck back up? We're gonna have to use number four. Shuffle one card from each side of the sequence and a random half of the tune. Okay. So we're gonna get half of those cards back into this pile. Yes. All right. As much that's as I our, don't want to do that's it, that's our I only think we option. So we're discarding these two. Yes. Okay. Wait. It, All right, it's so this, right? yeah, so we're gonna have to shuffle one card from each side of the sequence, which yeah. we have, and the random half of the tomb, rounded down into the pile. So let's see. Um, you know, what? we're just gonna take a random half. That sounds. That looks like a half, right? Let's let's cheat a little bit. No, it's not cheating. We're no, we're uh, just all right, counting. this is good, right? <laughs> it looks the same. Yeah, we're good. Let's shuffle that part back in. Shuffle this? Yeah. Back in? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna lose all that. Uh, with? Yeah. With those and with that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, I mean, it's not, it's not horrible. We got it. The whole oh. card with the cheer. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. All right, so what do you think of this game so far? I like it. It's very difficult. <laughs> it's dark, and I like the art, but it's it's really difficult. Dark and difficult. Yeah. 
That's the ga- that's the type of games we go for. Okay. Yeah. So we're back down to A, B, C. We have D, E. D is gonna make us discard for off the top. Yes. Um. E is gonna require. E, us we to... can't do anything with. Because we have to play an F, right? On the other side of A. No. G. G. So either we do this one or this one. Well, G is going to cause a C to move back into the pile. Oh, that's right. All right. So, yeah, maybe we should do G. That looks similar to Gates of Arkham. A lot of things. Yeah. This is um, our play no, mat. This play mat? Yeah. Is... It's a. Uh, Middle Earth. <laughs> it's, it's Middle Earth. We just didn't want the dark art on the dark table. Yeah, these cards on the table would probably not show very well. Yeah, especially these. These have more uh, colors to it. Yeah. All right. So, what do we want to do? We we don't. We can dive into the darkness or the abyss with these two. Yeah. However, we are losing two cards. Yep. For one. That is not good. We will discuss this later. <laughs> okay, I am at a loss. Um, I think we should play the letter D, lose four off the top, and then I don't know. We're only going to gain one card out of it. This is not easy, guys. Okay, so three is if there's no keeper in your hand, discard all cards from it and draw the same number of cards. Yeah, I think you want to do that. Um, yeah, because I do not want to do one. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's go ahead and do um, Desperate Cry number three. <laughs> I so am desperately crying. We're going to discard our whole hand and draw the same amount. G. Mm-hmm. Another G. Oh. <laughs> and a C. Okay. All right. Well, G is the only playable card. We are going to lose three... Uh, willpower and three cards. Um, this is gonna take two cards out of our hand, so I don't think we're gonna be able. To... No, we'll be able to. We'd do be it. able to do it. We just it's won't just have any cards. Yeah. yeah, we won't have any cards. So, what do you, you want to do? This one? Yeah. Um. Okay. Here we go. So we're gonna draw one card. Uh oh, now I'm gonna mess things up. Oop. Okay, so we're at G, A, B, C. Let's get back to G, which we do have a G card here. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying not to move them so much. So we're gonna lose three willpower. So yep. One, two, three. We're at seven. And discard three off the top. And we're gonna lose three cards off the top. That's a B. Okay, not important. A D. Oh, kinda need that D. one. We could, we, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh no. also that one. Another D. Oh no, not the D. All right, <laughs> let's flip over this card. Maybe that's right. a D. It's no! a C. <laughs> oh no, we are in trouble. We don't have a playable card. We don't. Um, and no gonna... matching symbols. We have two letter C's. That's the do only we? thing we do. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do. I was like, oh no. <laughs> um, or we can lose half our willpower. I don't want to lose my willpower. All right, let's do this. Let's back. discard these two. Yeah. To draw two. Oh no! That is not the D. <laughs> no. Oh no! Drew, why There's you do this? Two keepers. Oh no! We have to choose one. I wish not to. That's oh, oh no! That's lose three willpower and seven cards, or lose five and lose five cards. Oh my gosh. Again, I just want to show this card off because I absolutely love this card. No. Absolutely love this card. <laughs> love it. It is a great looking card. Actually, these two cards give me the biggest um, Norse vibes I've ever had. Right here. 
and and this one. So good. I I, I absolutely love these two cards. Uh, out of all the whole deck, these two are my favorite. Of, of course, course, you have to like the bad cards. Of course, those are the bad ones. <laughs> but uh, which one do you want to choose? Um, losing None five. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> losing five is not bad. This one, we're going to lose more cards. And we don't have a way to get any more cards. Yeah. So we should probably put this one back and keep this one. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> None of those options were ideal. All right. So here's the thing. We have to play the keeper we have to face the keeper yeah i mean that's all we can that's, do yeah that's our only option right now hmm. or we can sacrifice half our willpower because if we do that after we do that that's gonna be bad yeah our willpower right now is seven with this we're gonna get to draw two cards but a lot of the bad but stuff with is this happen. we're gonna draw three cards um can one of you wonderful mods do that for me please I know that you can't do it from there. That's why I'm asking them. <laughs> I actually don't know how. Yeah, I know. It's fine. If I need to do it, I can do it. But don't gift them a sub. <sighs> Have full pair of power rounded up. I honestly think we should do uh, the Desperate Cry of Help. Thank you, Panic. <laughs> That's why I was asking okay. them. Which one? I think we should do one. Do number one? Okay, so mm -hmm. we, we have lost all of I our know. Desperate <laughs> there's, Cries there's... here. So we're going to lose half of our willpower. Yeah, round it up. So out of seven... Um, half of seven is three, so we're going to lose four. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. We're down to three. We're going to draw three cards. Yeah, because at least it gives us options. One, that's e. a G. No good. E. That does. Not good now. <laughs> and A. Oh, no. But we probably have matching symbols at this point. We can get rid of the... Um, keeper with this with one. With that one, yeah. But don't... We're going to need E, though. That's the problem. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we can't play this anyway because we'll die. Mm -hmm. So we have to get rid of it. Yeah. So we're going to do that. We're going to draw two. And keep one. So here's an A. And a keeper. Oh, no. Those um, two have the same symbol, though. Yeah, but we have to keep one. And put oh one right! Away. Oh, that's right. Um, um, we should probably keep A to get rid of these two, and dive deeper into the abyss. Yeah. So this one's gonna go to the bottom. Okay, so we are down to four cards. This, this is not looking good. It's not looking good. So we're gonna do that again. Yep. <laughs> oh man, we're this is so hard. We're running out of lives. No. I wish not to. All right, here we go. Uh, there's a B. Don't need it. And an F. We could use an F. Um, man. We're going to have to keep that F, right? Yeah, yeah. So this will go on the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Now... F is gonna allow us to draw three cards. That's good. That's all of the. That's the whole deck. <laughs> yep. Um. Also, it's gonna take two cards from our hand. Yes. Which will be the last two cards we have in our hand. Yes. But I think that. But we draw first. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what we have to do. 
There's no way getting around it. Mm, no, there isn't. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's, let's just play this one out. I'm just going to place so it here for now. Draw three. We have drawn all three cards. The life deck is empty. I think we have lost the game. No, no, it's fine. It would be great. Um, So we're going to lose two cards. Randomly. Randomly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we don't have any life. Oh, no. Yeah. We're, no! The deck is empty. <gasps> we have to play again. And then we'll just cut out all of this part and then start from the, the next part when we play. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have... We have lost. <laughs> we have G, but we don't need G. We also have the uh, Viking Keeper. Oh, I like him. Um, I think we have lost. Yep. We we do not do we we don't have a play to make do we? Oh, actually no, we can't. We no. we lost the deck is empty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so we lost that one. So we we <laughs> we are spiraling into the abyss of the unknown. Ab into the eternal abyss of darkness. Darkness. <laughs> we did not get out. We doing this again. Doing it again? Yeah, and this will be the part that we clip to send to the guy. <laughs> no. Fix this. Okay, so for the most part, that's... No, because he's going to... For the most part, that's how you play the game. Um, well, we still are unsure of some of the rules, because it's, it's not entirely clear. At least, not what I read. Yeah, but we have all that talk in the middle and things about banning people in chat. That doesn't need to be on their video for Facebook. That's why I was quiet for like nearly all the stream. And so see where we're at and then uh, we chop all that out. Mm -hmm. We do the redo. Not the rule set because that was, or the rule teach because that part was fine. <clears throat> so on level two, if we had gotten that far, yeah. We would have to keep our tone sequence cards out mm -hmm. and have to add more. So that way it would add um, two sets mm -hmm. from one end to the other. So if it started from F, it would be like um, F, G, A, B, C, D, F, G, A, B, C, D, F. Um, but we would have, we shuffled everything back into the pile. Yeah. Except for the sequence card. So that's that's a bit more difficult. Alright, so we start with six cards, right? Yes. So I'm trying to see, I'm trying to look up I'm trying to see if I can find the keeper um keywords on here to see if I'm Right, because I know I read it somewhere where the keeper, if we have a keeper in our hand, it's it allow it doesn't allow us to win with a full sequence out. So we have to get rid of a keeper. We have to have no keeper in our hand and have the full sequence Scroll out. Scroll down a little bit, that second part. While well, a card with a letter tone represent a measurable life can be played only as a solid number of... Uh, no, that's not it. Um, you cannot win the game as long as there is a keeper in your hand. You need to get rid of all the keepers, at worst by playing them and facing their effects, or at least when your sequence is finished, if you did not manage before. Yeah, yeah so I don't see anything about you You uh, can't play other cards if you have a seeker in your hand. You just want to be able to get them out of your hand by the end of the game. Yeah. So in that sense, we've been playing the whole game right. Yeah, but now we have all that talk about is it right or wrong on something that we don't want to confuse people that are trying to buy the game. That's why I say we need to play it again. And redo! <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of um, ambient noise coming from outside. We have howls and... Yeah, we have like the, the creepy dog wolf howl that we have that lives somewhere on the street. We have the children next door. Maybe they're werewolves. 
Okay. Here we go. Let's start. Okay. So. Hey, let me drink some water because I've been talking a lot. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna try this again. <laughs> we do. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try this game again. Yeah. No, we've tried it for the first time now. <laughs> yeah, that's our hand. All right. Okay, so we've got starting willpower is twelve. We have all we of have our two keepers in our hand. That's yep. amazing. We start with our six cards, and now we play. Okay, so one of the rules is um, for this card, it has a, a number one in the um, shuffle cards from the opposite side of the sequence. Mm -hmm. Now, if this is the first one played out there, it gets, it. it gets shuffled in. Oh, you, you would still do it that way? Yeah. Okay. So, essentially, that's not a good card to play right now. Mm, yeah, not so much. Um, however... These two symbols it, are the same. Yeah. We have cards that have the same symbols mm -hmm. to get rid of these keepers, if we would want to. Yeah, I feel like we should get rid of these. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move this over. We're gonna discard these because mm -hmm. they have the same symbols. Yep. So in that way, we discarded a keeper to draw two more cards, which is not a keeper to draw two cards. So we're gonna have to choose one. Um. um there is a B, and then there is an F. Um. I am thinking B looks nice. B looks good. Yep. Okay, so we'll take this card and put it underneath. Okay. I think playing that B would be a good start. This one? Oh no, because we're going to have to shuffle it back in, aren't we? No. No, we're going to lose a willpower. We're going to lose a card off the top of the pile. And we're going to lose a oh, card Oh, and then one from our... Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I don't. Oh, gosh, I'm so, getting all blabbled. So we're gonna draw one card because of the number one on the bottom right. Yep. It's also gonna be face down. Yep. And we're gonna lose one willpower. Lose one willpower. We're going to lose one off the on top. top. And then we're gonna see. flip all these over and shuffle, and lose one of them. Yep. One random. Okay. I didn't fumble for my for me with my words earlier. We're doing good. Now I'm fumbling. So now we know how to play um, as far as playing the game and how the cards work. Yeah. We should do better this round. I mean, let's uh, discard one up top. The third one. Third one. Mm -hmm. All right. So one we're keeping. Two, we're keeping. Three, we're losing. That was C. We oh, could have okay. used that one. I mean, it's on me. It's fine. We do have an A, which means we'll have to shuffle the B back in. Mm, yep. And then we have that other B out there. What about matching symbols? Uh, we can discard that one that one? the uh, Viking and this card because it has the same symbol. Okay, two for one deal. We've got another keeper. Oh man, that card looks great. We haven't seen that one yet. And then there's a G. I'm assuming we're gonna keep the G, but I'm gonna show this one. That card looks awesome. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming we're gonna keep G. Um, yeah. Or do you wanna keep the keeper? I'm trying to see matching symbols. We do not. We do we not have, have any. any matching symbols. No. And we don't have a card that we can play. Thing is, this letter B would have given us three cards. That's why. There's yeah, I know. So much stuff there. Yeah. This one's not so bad, but I mean, we can't really play it. This yeah, one... we're gonna keep this one. Okay. 
I mean, it feels like sometimes facing the, the keepers is the better bet. Yeah. Sometimes. I mean, we also have that if there's no keepers in your cards, we can discard all of our cards and draw three more. Because we can't play any of these currently. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's using one of the no special matching, powers really no early, No matching though. symbols. So let's go ahead and do that. It's our only play. I'm going to lose these three. I want to draw three more. Okay, we've got an A. Not so bad. An F. And a B. Okay. Now we do have a card we can play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like we should just go ahead and do that one. Okay. Go ahead and play A. On the left side, we're going to draw one card, mm -hmm. and we're going to lose three willpower. All right, end of the turn, we are going to flip this over. We got another F. Mm -hmm. um, oh boy. Well, these have the same letters, but these have the same symbols. Yeah, we don't want to get rid of too many like letters and this yeah. this f is way yeah it's not as bad Ooh. okay let's go ahead and get rid of, getting rid of that and we've got another keeper and the letter e oh no the cards are not with us today <laughs> no. okay Here's the thing. Those have the same symbols. Yeah, they do. Um, I don't know. This is a really difficult. Yeah. This is really <laughs> difficult. Now, I feel like it's probably better to face this keeper than it would be to try to discard it. Yeah. It, Um, so what do you think? Should we should we do it? Should we face this keeper? Yes. Okay. So we're gonna choose to keep that card. This card is going to the bottom. <clears throat> I tell you, this game is very hard, but it's doable. Totally doable. Um, so let's, let's face this keeper. So this is what's going to happen. We're going to be losing six willpower and three cards off the top of the pile. Okay. Three willpower? Six. Six? Oh. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh gosh, six. Well, we were supposed to draw three cards first. Well, I mean, we're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting ahead of yourself. No! <laughs> Alright, so those are three cards. So terrible! Um, we're gonna lose. It's important because. Yeah, because we need those cards. Because we're gonna be discarding cards um, yeah. on the last action here. That's why it, we have to draw three first. Yeah. So we are losing three. So. Didn't you just do that? Jeez. No. No? Okay. I drew three. Oh, you drew three. That's right. Okay. All right. Now this can go. It's, Ugh, it's resolved. It's so bad. No, we have three more cards. Yeah. We have an helpful. E, an F, mm. and another E. Oh, no. man. <laughs> no. Wow. We are so bad at this game. <laughs> <laughs> We're at two willpower. Yeah. Um. Do we want to use one of our <laughs> desperate cries? I'm wondering if we should just do two already. Two? Yeah. Because we'll get all of our willpower back. 
But we're going to lose half that death. Lose half of it? Oh. Um, but we get all the willpower. We only have two willpower. Okay. And we have no cards to technically play right now. Okay. And I don't want to sacrifice, well, I mean, half of our willpower is only. All right, let's, let's, let's do it. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, this one? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, what are we going to do with that? We're going to lose. Discard half of that, and we get all the willpower back. Man. Okay, let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So. And it's uh, rounded up. So, uh, seven. Yep. <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven. No, oh, this hurts. This bad. hurts. This hurts. We're losing all these cards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Let's try. Maybe we can use the number four. We shuffle one card from each side. That's all of our That's cards. All our cards. <laughs> but we're gonna get this whole <sighs> thing back. We're gonna get. Um, all right. If we we do this one, we shuffle one card from each side. Yeah, and then and we're gonna get half of, get of that. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Just gotta shuffle into. Oh, yeah, I'm shuffling to discard half. Oh, right. So, what do you say? You think that's half? No, it's more than half. Uh, what do you think? Keep this one. This one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look, we get to start all over again. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, man. This is really tough. Like, I thought we would get through the first level. <laughs> Metempsychosis, uh, Abyss of Horrors, is one of the hardest card games. I really like it, though. This is a solo game. We're playing in tandem here. Yeah. But. Terribly. Terribly. <laughs> um, so we're going to add this back to the pile. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Go okay. back out. All right. So are you going to play a card? Or <laughs> I mean, we probably should. Um. Do you want to start with F? Let's start with like the least worst card. <laughs> um, mm, I don't know. This F? So that one, we're going to lose two willpower and one card off the pile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I don't want to play that because that's just taken away. Yeah, we're going to lose a random card, but we're going to get one. Mm, that's from true. It. We got two E's, so it's not like we're going to be hurting. Mm, yeah, and we won't be losing willpower if we play this one instead of this one. Yeah. Right, we're going to play this one. So we're playing F. Okay, so we're going to gain one card face down. Yeah. And then flip them all over. And then we're going to... Lose one randomly. We're going to resolve the card from top to bottom. So that one just has a uh, discard one card. So take all the cards flipped over. We're going to shuffle real quick. And we're just going to discard the very top. Yep. Yeah? Yep. Sounds good. Okay. This sort of reminds me of a dungeon crawl card game, but it's more like a soul hopping. Soul hopping. Soul hopping card game that... Uh, we're losing the, the F one. Okay. Well, I mean, hopping. we can't play F anyway. No. So. Okay, we've got E... E and we have a keeper. Mm. Here is the keep. This is a scary looking guy. All right. Uh, what he's gonna do if we play him, we're gonna lose nine cards from the pile, nope. which isn't horrible. I wish not to play him yet. At the same time, it is horrible. Um, we can play an E. I kind of want to play this one. Okay. It was losing three and then get one from our hand randomly discarded so we could possibly get rid of him. Yeah, or possibly not. Or possibly not, or possibly get stuck with him. Yeah. I, let's go ahead and do it. Play but e. I mean, one and randomly. I mean, we're still going to be in that situation. No, we have enough willpower to do that. Okay. Whoops. All right. I forgot to alphabet for a second. So we're going to draw one card. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna lose a willpower, and we're gonna lose a card randomly. 
So I'm gonna let you do it. Because I've been doing this the whole time. I moved again. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey we lost the keeper sweet that's the best thing that could have happened all right so we have an e and f in our sequence we have a g here which is good mm -hmm. but we can't play it well i mean we can but we're gonna lose all our cards which is which can't happen mm -hmm. so we can't play this How does that even work? I mean, we can't play this one. I mean, we can. How? Um, oh no, we can't. No, we can't. That's why I said we would either have to play this, which we technically can't because we can't discard yeah, we two can't from our hand. Two. So the only other choice we have is this, or we lose the game already. Because there's no matching symbols. Yeah. Um, if we If we... If we lose our whole hand, um... This is going to be us drawing three cards. We're going to lose half our willpower rounded up, to. but we have to do this or it's the end of the game. Alright, half so willpower half 11, rounded up. Yeah. So, six? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh. And draw three cards. Draw three. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, look, it's your favorite card My again. My favorite card. <laughs> Okay, I have an F. I have one. And another keeper. No. Look, at this point, we can't play this card. No. We can play this one and draw two more. Um, what do we? What can we play now? We can play this now. Um. Mm hmm. Which we could possibly end up getting rid of those. These two have the same symbol. Mm -hmm. This one's the worst out of the two keepers. That's true. Um, since we can't play the F, we can probably do that. Yeah. And we'll... Yeah, that sounds too bad. Let's do that. Yeah, so we'll, we'll dive into the abyss. Draw two cards. There's an E we don't need. <laughs> and an A. Also don't need. Yeah, we don't need any of those. <laughs> Oh, what about matching symbols? Look at the cards we have. Um, no matching symbols for the keeper. Matching letters. We have matching letters. Um, that's probably what we're gonna have to do. So keep the E. Yep. For the matching letters. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put the other card at the bottom. We mm -hmm. are out of desperate. Uh, cry cards. Yep. So we're down to. Nobody's just, gonna hear us screaming. Yeah, we're just we're down to whatever our hand is at this point. So we're gonna get rid of the two E's. Um. I almost wonder if we should play G. Um. Yeah, it's not so bad. We can do that. Yeah, let's play G. Okay, so we're gonna gain one card. Mm-hmm. And, then and now we're going to lose two. lose two. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. What do you say? Top two? Mm -mm, or bottom. top and bottom? Or mm -mm, top? Top and bottom. Okay. The E, which, which we, we, did, we didn't need. And the bottom? Mm hmm. The other E. Oh. Ooh, and now we still have the keeper, though. <laughs> no! Oh, man. This is... <laughs> um, I hate to say this. we got to play the keeper. We have to play the keeper. It's the only thing we have that we can it's do. The only thing we can do right. is to face the keeper. All right, so we draw two cards. So, hold on. We're going to play the keeper. Yeah. We're at five. We're going to play him here, because he's going to get so discarded. we're going to draw two. Mm -hmm. Face down two cards. We're going to lose three willpower, so we're down to two. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lose three cards off the pile. 
mm -hmm. which is our life force or the lives that we can jump into. Um, no, we've lost a whole lot. <laughs> we just lost two that we really need. Yeah. Um, all right, so this is this is all done. Mm -hmm. What we get? We got an A. Nope. No, we can use an A. Oh right, yeah, we can. Okay. But we can't because we don't oh, have no, several more power. No. And we have a C. Um. Wow, we just lost. We did. We have. <laughs> we have no. We can't get rid of willpower because we can't. We have no card we can play. Nope. Man, it's tough. Yeah, because we have an EFG. We needed a and. In A that we can play, we can't do this one. Because yeah, because we can't lose the willpower. We can't lose the willpower because we'll, we'll, we'll die. Yep. And we have uh, no card to play. So yeah, we, die. we need an A and a D. What yep. was the next card? I'm just curious. It was an F. We would have died anyway. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, that's that's how you play uh, Metempsychosis. Yep. Abyss of Horrors. Uh, we played this twice and we lost twice. This game was meant to be difficult. Yeah. Um, I think it's meant to be pretty and difficult, like Crusoe. <laughs> but um, the artwork is fantastic on here. Yeah. Uh, Soundtrack's great too. The soundtrack is very um, uh, immersive. If you yeah. Think it. It, it's calm yet it's it's creepy. Yeah. It's, I don't know if you guys have been hearing it. I suggest not playing without knowing the rules. Why are you reading chat when this is for the developer? We're going to have to redo it again. <laughs> no, it's fine. No, he's, he's not going to post rules. it on his Facebook or his page if we're talking to chat. Mm. I don't think we could have done anything else that would have helped. Yeah. We're going to have to play it again off stream to record it for him. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that for him. Yeah. But this was just a stream to show you guys how this is played. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's super difficult. Um, but it's doable. Um, I guess it's just the luck of the cards that you draw. Yeah, and it's um, what you discard. Because you, you have discard. to discard to get more cards. Yeah, there's... There's a bit of push your luck in this one. Um, it has some. It has a very cool mechanic of getting the letters in sequence. Yeah, I like that part, but it, it's really difficult. Yeah, um, and you have to be careful on what you're getting rid of, also, because like like I said, there is a certain amount of each letter. Yeah. In the deck. Yep. And and the deck is pretty huge. Um. Yeah, I, I wonder how it is playing with the expansion since we haven't done that yet. But. Yeah, a lot of these cards are really brutal. Yeah. Um, Losing, like, your your sanity, it uh, it's pretty rough for some of those cards. Yeah. Um, so, so... I can't, I can't get over how awesome the artwork is. I mean... Yeah. And the art and the music together just makes it perfect. Yeah. I really like that card. <laughs> this one? Yeah. I don't think I really have a favorite card, but I mean, I like all of them because they're really creepy. I mean... This, I like him, too. This one right it's here... It's like a centaur. ...gives me the creeps just looking at it. It's like a um, centaur in the dungeon. Look at that one. Kind of reminds me of uh, a D&D &D session. Yeah. I mean, it's really cool. That one, I don't know why it creeps me out so much. Um, this one gives me a Cthulhu vibe, of course, because it has some tentacles in it. Let me yeah. show you guys that one real quick. These little tentacles right there. Um, and the more you look at them, like, the more in-depth it is. Like, there's the, the base, oh, you're looking at it, but then, like, you look at this card and there's, like, the face here. And the stalactites. Yeah, you you start seeing things. Yeah, in, which in is really cards. creepy. Um, so bravo on this artwork. Um, yeah, it's superb. That gives me a labyrinth vibe. 
I absolutely love this artwork. <laughs> um, did such a great job on it, especially this card, which is my absolute favorite. <laughs> you, you had the green. This this up. is this is the Viking card. Yeah. Of the deck. It's so good. So there you have it. Uh, Met Metempsychosis by Warclaw Games. Yeah. Um, if you want to check them out, exclamation mark check out we'll show you the link to their website yep i said they have a whole bunch of other games put out there um there's a lot of print and play ones yeah um, um i don't think he really asks for much for these games they're they're pretty cheap we will we get another one january ish yeah, to he's, review he's, he's got one coming out it's a um dungeon crawler type it's deal. called drunken dwarves drunken so dwarves. <laughs> it's gonna be really funny yeah um i can't wait to try it yeah um, i did look at some of the images on the website for it <laughs> like i said your artwork is absolutely fantastic i don't yeah. know where you get the ideas from for the images but I know that he did say that um, he is going to watch this later because he's in transit on his way home. So we're sorry we messed up the stream, but we're going to send you an actual video of us playing the game. <laughs> yes, we will play this game off stream. Um, off stream and we will record it for you, a, um, a actual how to play video for you, yeah. just for you. Yeah. We will do that. So there you have it. Um, great game. I love it. So hard. So yeah, it's difficult. really difficult, but I like it. I don't know. Oh, it's it's. When I saw him post his photos on Instagram, I'm like, I really like this art. I really want to play the game. And the expansions also give a little bit of um, leeway. I want to say. Well, you said one expansion makes it harder and one makes it easier, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so there's one card that. Um, allows you to choose one you get to reset reset your desperate cry card four or one two and three. Oh. Um, mm. there's cards that heal five willpower really <laughs> yeah so that's what that looks like right there oh i like that one it's bright and rainbowy that's, that's healing um and da, 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 da. that one's kind of cool too this one kind of yeah So one of these is called um, I don't remember where we saw I it. I can't remember. I think it was on the actual it. page. I think I have it up still, I think. Yeah. Or not. Yeah, this this is the how to play stuff. Yeah, but it's not the I don't know why it's stuck in my head right now. <laughs> I, I, I knew what it was. Hold on. I will let you guys know real quick. I'm going to go right to the website. It is called God's Mercy and Dark Pact. Those are the two um, expansions for this. Yeah. Okay. So they're going to come with Dark Pact, I believe, makes it a bit more difficult. Um, God's Mercy, I believe, makes it a bit easier. Yeah. Um, so if you want to play with that one, one. Yeah, this looks really Ooh, cool. that looks like a cultist. Yeah, we we'll play that. This one um, just gives you two cards. There's no. Yeah, but look, it's a Cthulhu cultist. That's... Look at the tentacles. Yeah. And the book. I love that card. That's my favorite now. <laughs> okay, so this artwork here is. Ooh. It's a pretty it's dark. on his head. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this one's pretty dark compared to to most of the cards here, but it looks amazing. It looks so awesome. Oh, that's a good oh wow! Oh man! Discard all keepers from your hand. Uh, how great would that have been? Oh yeah, so good. Check that one out. Call test. <laughs> Yeah, if you're into oh. dark images and dark art um, yeah. and um, survival horror type card games, 
this one is a definite definite go to if you if you like to be punished, <laughs> and especially if you like solo games because this is a solo game, even yeah. though we played it together. And and if you like supporting very small developers, mm -hmm. this guy does all his art by himself. He pushes this stuff out all by himself. Yep. So, and and if you just want to support him, he does have a um, pay PayPal link on his website. You guys can just send him a few bucks just to push him ahead because because this is talent right here. Yeah. Um, some of the bigger developers are not going to put a game like this out there. You're definitely not going to see this from, you know, Fantasy Flight or or Come On or any of them. Any of them. And you don't really get a game with music in the background unless yeah. you're getting, you know. So so we fully support um, this company. And their games because we like playing things that are not you know out there yeah so this is one of them bravo yep love it oh time roller did the link thing thank you thank you for that link time roller um so guys yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed the the music to it yeah, I certainly did. I liked it. Uh, the music was amazing. Very thematic. So there you have it, guys. Um, we will make a video for War Cry, War <laughs> Games. <laughs> oh, I'm doing out? the yeah, the shadow thing. Yeah, since you know, <laughs> this are, is just us streaming. <laughs> yeah. We are gonna make a definite how to play video for them. Yeah. You did good, like, with the rules explanation, and I wasn't paying attention to chat through the first part, and then we got into the part where it was like, oh, well, I don't know if we've played this wrong or right, and I'm like, no, we're playing it right, stop saying that, I don't want to do it again, and then we have to do it again! Okay, are you done? No! <laughs> <laughs> well, look, the rules and playthrough is going to be pretty short without an audience. It's just going to be a how to play video, so yeah. it, it's it's not going to be horrible. Or <laughs> it's not going to be horrible. No, it's not going to take much time. Well, now I know that the shadow is going to be on my face. The rules to this are very easy to follow. Um, I was looking at chat. That's why I was looking this way instead of it's this hard, way. <laughs> it's hard to make a video for for a developer. Um, with a live chat that's that's the difficulties of i don't know how ch uh steph does it like when she does her publisher nights and stuff yeah uh, because i but, i interact with chat and it's bad <laughs> yeah but that's that's how it works you yeah know, you interact with chat that's that's what you have to do when you're doing it live yeah um yeah yeah, that's why I went over and typed really quick to uh heart board games because i didn't want them to think that we didn't see them or appreciate the raid yeah but yeah. thank you guys for everything. Uh, thank you for the raid, guys. And for the follows. That's so awesome. For the follows, yes. Um, oh, that's a great idea, Wim. I didn't think we could do that. <laughs> Hi, the chat. Oh, well, I don't want to do that. I like seeing what uh, Yeah, I saying. like seeing what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so... How about we go ahead and see who we can raid, yeah. and then we can do the thing? Let's go raid. Yeah. Who we got to read? My laptop's too far away and I have to wear arms. <laughs> so I have to lean all the way over here. Um, anybody uh, you guys want to see? Yeah, anybody that you want to see, let me know. Um, because we have Sam Proof playing Magic the Gathering Arena. That's all I have followed. That's on. Gosh, that shadow is really bad. Like, oh. It is. You know, next time we'll, <laughs> we'll move. Oh, Time it. Roller's going live. Oh, okay, Time Roller. We'll wait and we'll just talk. Yeah, we'll hang out for a little bit. Yep. You can see Time Roller. Um, I think you said you were... Yeah, he did say what he was going to play. He was setting up for something. A uh, Clash of Cultures. See? Right there. Clash of, yep. Yeah. Clash of Cultures. Um, he did show that off earlier. That's the game that we that I've been eyeing on the top shelf of the game store. It has like the Vikings on it, but it also has like the other um, Crusaders and stuff like that. Mm, okay. Um, I think Adam was talking to me about it. 
the last time we were at the game Once store. I see it on Time Rollers table, I'm yeah. sure I'll know what it is. Um, so what are we, we're doing a BGA on Friday. Yeah. There is no stream tomorrow. There is no D&D on the whole card tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so tomorrow's a free day. You have to work, but it's a free, free day. day for everybody but me. No. Everybody but me. No. Um, Monday, we're going to attempt to start uh, role player adventures. Yeah, I'm excited about that. So, I do want to start um, Pandemic Legacy at some point in this month since we did get it from Dr. Mm, Sign. So many Legacy games. I know. <laughs> I know. We're going to be doing two at one time. Sorry. I at least want to start Pandemic because we did get it for well, Christmas. I mean, is role player adventures really a Legacy game, though? I mean, you don't have to really do anything to the cards or the booklet do you i don't know not that i know i of. i don't i haven't watched anybody play it i i, I saw that lex has been playing it but i can't I watch it, was, it from what i have watched it looked more like a um near and far type deal where you open up a book or yeah. a, um, a map and you place the tokens on the map and then whatever you land on you you turn to that page and read it yeah yeah um so I'm I mean, what you do in one scenario is going to follow to the next one. So yeah. it, it is a campaign game. I mean, I'm pretty excited for it. Um, we did buy the game as soon as we saw it. So yeah, I do want to get to play it now. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, we do want to get Hero Realms to the table. Yeah, we um, we too. have so many games we want to play. And yeah, we're back to the point to where the we table. have a lot of games that we want to play and stream. Yeah. So maybe we have to add another stream. Maybe I don't know. Um, I kind of like doing every other day. It sort of yeah, it frees it up, and then we're free yeah. on the weekends as well. Yeah, because I like going hiking. I like yeah. We just, went for a nice hike yesterday with a dog. Yeah, I like walking around, and I like doing other stuff. Um, don't get me wrong, I love playing board games, and we love watching you guys. Yeah, and <laughs> I think after December, I know I've been absent from a lot of people's streams, um, which is totally my fault. Um, but You've after, been really busy with work. Yeah. You're working almost six days a week now. Yeah, but after December, I think that I'm going to go back to normal. Like, I, I want to start watching Steph and Michael again. I yeah, like, they've them. missed us. I, I went into a stream the other day, and they're like, where have you been? <laughs> I haven't seen them in a long while. Yeah. Um, I want to make plans to eventually go see them. They well, don't live too far. We're from probably going to see them at Tantrum Con in February. We yeah, need to and, buy those tickets. And we're we're talking about going to Tantrum Con, so we're probably going to be there. Mm -hmm. So we've got that happening. Um, so many games to play. Next weekend, as much as we love you guys, we're not going to be free because we have to drive halfway to Virginia to drop off our oldest to spend time with his dad for the holiday. Yeah, big so, travel day for us. Yeah, I mean... For me. One way isn't bad, but the whole trip in one day um, it is, you know, a five-hour drive. I have to drive the whole way No, there? we're not driving. The, no, I'm just saying there and oh. back is good. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? No, we're not going to have to drive the whole way. If you start watching and start screaming more, you got it. Panic, come on. Um, Yeah, after, we, uh, you know after what we December, do? I, I do want to start getting on and watching you guys more often. You know what we should do? Like I was doing earlier, but what? We should talk to Panic about playing Destinies, both of us with him, instead of just me like last time. I mean, I'll play it. We can play on Panic's channel. Yeah. I don't mind that game. I've watched... I like that I've game. watched <laughs> the um, the how-to play videos on that, and... I mean, it I was simple like enough it. where Panic didn't have to tell me what to yeah. do, and I knew the what to do. The only thing that stopped me from buying it was the fact that it was not fully cooperative. It was sort of a competitive co-op deal yeah. where you guys were um, pretty much doing your own thing, but also helping each other yeah. like progress. Yeah. Um, I, was, I wasn't too crazy about that. If I'm going to play a game like that, I want it to be fully co-op or fully player versus player. Yeah. You know, if there's a halfway point, I start like I don't know, second guessing like my actions. And I'm like, oh, should I have done that? Well, when oh, Panic no. and I played, it was He's just me that. versus him. That would be cool. I have to uh, definitely die that we can play too. Oh, Phantom says you watched him last yeah, night. He appreciated I did. it. He was playing Capcom 2020 BS. 
Yeah, I I watched the first part before Absolutely I went live with Dre, and it was really like I always catch the first part of him. It talking, was Street Fighter, but... not Capcom. It was Street Fighter twenty twelve or something. I absolutely hated terrible? that game. It was not a Street Fighter game. You played as Ken as a mech or a android yeah. Ken Masters run around shooting aliens with your bionic arms. And I was just like, why is this game even a thing? I like watching his videos because they're always like random games I've never heard of before and they're like absolutely terrible. So it's always fun watching Phantom. Street Fighter 2010 so bad <laughs> oh yeah he was he was getting angry and i was getting angry watching you were getting angry because watching i remember as a kid playing that game i'm like oh cool it's a future street fighter game let's just do it so i actually bought the game stupid with me spent <gasps> spent any of the money that i had which was usually either christmas money or birthday money <gasps> bought the stupid game stupid. played it one day and i'm like screw this I'm done with it, and I threw it. I threw it on the wall, and it broke. Did your mom know? No. <gasps> she does now. <laughs> no, I, I eventually told her I broke the game. But she's, she's, she's one of those moms who's like, well, you paid for it. You broke it. And I was like, look, it was worth breaking. It made me feel good. <laughs> but now it's probably worth, what, $20 at best? Yeah. Um, don't ever... Don't ever get Don't suckered ever in get playing suck- that game? Yeah. Okay. Um, Phantom's not going to ever play it again, and I, I commend <laughs> you for that. Don't ever do it again. Time Roller, why aren't you alive? Where do you have Time Roller? <laughs> Come on. Um. So, um, for those of you watching, what, what do you think of the game that we played? Yeah, did you like it? I'm sorry I couldn't talk to you guys. I was trying really hard not to. <laughs> it's on the band list. Cool. I've watched him play, like, really random games. Like, the Michael Jackson one? <laughs> that one was oh, funny. Michael Jackson Moonwalker was one of my favorite games. I've um, watched him play that, and, um... I don't know. There was a Three Stooges one. You are alive, Time Roller? I don't see you live. Okay, well, we'll, we'll head on to Time Roller. We'll stop talking about video games and stuff. Well, so, I mean, he heard... Oh, he... I literally just got the live okay. notification. So, again, um, Warclaw Games... Thank you so very much, and I hope we did not screw up your game so badly. But we we know we didn't make it past level one, so that says yeah. something. Phantom um, says I thought the game we all played uh, was really interesting. I definitely want to see more. Yeah, it's. I mean, I really like it. I am going to take some photos of the yeah. cards to post to Instagram for people to look so, at. So Warclaw Games, you definitely have fans out yep. there. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep. Keep pushing that art. Keep pushing those games. And we out. can't see, wait to see the new one that we're gonna. Yeah. Get. Um. Yeah. Thank you so much for sending this game to us. Um. We will love you forever. So let's go see what Time Roller is playing. We all know what Time Roller is playing. Yeah, we already so we playing. we've already said. I got it. Do you want to send us over? Yes. All right, guys. Come back on Friday. We'll be doing BGA Friday. Um, playing random games with you guys on um discord yep if you want to jump on discord then cool if not you can just play with us on bga yep and then monday we'll hit the uh role World player Fair. adventures so i have all weekend to learn how to play it except the game day we're probably having this weekend oh okay well i have one day to, probably. Learn how to play it <laughs> 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 all right guys oh little johnny's gonna be there awesome with like a Christmas hat, <laughs> with like elf ears. Phantom, right. we have to talk wardrobe. All right. Well, thank you guys <laughs> for everything. Thanks for watching. Are you gonna wear a Christmas out. sweater? No, I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get the time roller stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get it. To... I'm hungry, dude. Let's go. All right, guys. <laughs> we'll see you on Friday. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good night. No.